all you bubblies out there. Um, I literally have no glasses and I totally forgot, but <clears throat> here's my round two of trying to make this video. This is going to be, if I can get it right, my witchy vlog tag or get to know your witches tag, the official one now. Hopefully I can, you guys can hear me and see me and whatever. Let me see if the scene's right. It looks cool. Um, I'm out here in one of my favorite places to be. So as I finally find the questionnaire and try to read it without my eyes. So this is originally um, a tag that was created or whatever made up. Sorry, I feel like something's crawling away. Um, a tag that it is, seems like it's going to rain, so I might have to pause and, I don't know, go elsewhere. But Little Cosmic Crow. Okay, if you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, check it out. She's really witchy, funky, and all that good stuff. Um, I have actually yet to delve into her a little bit more myself, but without further delay, I'm gonna do her tag. Does your sun sign portray you correctly? If not, do your other planetary signs? Well, for one thing, um, my sign is Aries, so shout out. My birthday just passed, passed as you guys seen in my last vlog. Um, so, yeah, I would say it does. I mean, you guys know my personality and you can probably tell this um so yeah aries and it does fit that's my sun sign um i guess my rising or ascendant i have found to know is pisces and that's pretty um you know in the mix as well i feel very piscean um with the emotions and things like that and my intuition so <clears throat> yeah and then my hot-headed temple is the aries i'm making a video so oh i might have to cut this short guys Okay, so we're going to try some walking around so I don't seem like such a weirdo. Um, the next question is, what songs bring you the most magical vibes? Hmm, um, let me see. I have such a mix of music that I actually like. So I would have to say, um, you know, anything by, oh jeez, I don't know how to say your name, Shahani, Ayoko, Ayoko, whatever. Um, the one who just released Chalambo. I can say that a little bit better. Yeah, so um, that would be some of the music that gives me some of the most magical vibes. Um, you know, or like Carlos Santana's music, always like since I was a little one, that was like my first introduction to all things kind of witchy-esque um so yeah anything like that um but that's probably the only two that are coming to my mind and lacuna coil was always my like magical mystical answer and plus it's my favorite band so come on um let's see which of your deities guides or ancestors is most sarcastic with you um well i don't know i mean i'm pretty sarcastic sometimes but I'm not super sarcastic. So, sorry, I'm like shoving this in a weird angle. So I'm not super sarcastic. I don't know, I don't really feel like that fits to me. And then it says, if not, what tarot or oracle deck is. Um, I used to have a wizard deck and it was like, I don't even remember what the heck it was called. I didn't really get too deep into it. I really liked it and I wish I still had it, but you know, I just don't. So, but I do have a new mermaid deck, which I totally love, and maybe I'll show you one day, but all you need to know is it's a mermaid-based deck, and it's totally awesome, and I love it. And I only, I don't really use it a lot. I kind of use it as like a collective interpretation, not really on myself. I've actually done readings for a couple of friends and family members, um, but yeah, that's kind of as far as it went. Okay, so the fourth question, biggest witchy mess up or interpretation? Um, kind of that Piscean sign once again, you know, being like a daydreamer and thinking that everything is like actually super magical and like really like hocus pocus and potions and things. I mean, that is, it's true, like everything, like when I'm cooking, I feel that way, but um, yeah, just a little bit more magic based, <laughs> mystical lights and zings and things. Okay. All right, let's go on. Would you write a book in your, or on your craft and spirituality? Why, if you already have, what are your challenges in doing so? Um, yes, I have actually, I'm quite a writer. I used to be in creative writing in high school, whatever. Um, I would say possibly because I'm honing my craft as we all are. There's always things to learn. Um, and I've just really felt more connected over the past few years, especially becoming a mother. It's really opened my eyes to a lot of things. So 
I don't know. Um, have I been working and writing on a book? Absolutely I have. Um, I have things that I've written and poetry books, whatever, but have I done much with them? No. So um, hopefully one day I will. And I can share that with you guys. I was actually thinking about doing maybe a Patreon-based account um, of some of my earlier works to kind of get some feedback as well as some kind of like inventory. But we'll see, or some monetization from it, whatever. Okay, so six. If someone wanted to summon you to their circle, what five items would they need? Oh, this is a really cool question. I love it. Um, for one thing, any musical instrument, especially if it's like a guitar or piano, um, that'll definitely summon, or violin, um, because I'm such a musical songbird. I love it. Anything melodic or mystical musical sounding um, would definitely summon me there coffee or tea um because i'm very into just drinking tea for straight eight months without anything else I'm trying to get back to that because i do take my coffee with a ton not a ton but international delight creamer and even though i don't use too much it does kind of you know obviously add up whatever okay um the third thing to summon would have to be anything like creative or artistic so if you have like shiny stuff like you're making jewelry or like for instance i actually make um you know dream catchers and things myself that would be one thing um you know anything creative base would definitely bring me as well um let's see i did um i don't know and then like mermaid based stuff if you have water that would be super cool um if you're swimming in a lake or an ocean ocean based stuff like you have seashells anything like water lake based um definitely would conjure me up because i love water i make mermaid tails it's another thing and i haven't swam in them in a while because there's no place to do it anymore or pool but yeah mermaid tails um you know water and then i guess the last one because i i'm doing this out of whim is fire so if you're having a bonfire or something campfire that would totally bring me on as well being a fire thing all right so if you were a ghost what place would you haunt oh um if i was a ghost the place that i would haunt would probably be <laughs> the current place that i'm in um i've always had a dream actually in this backwoods since i was a kid about some lady in the woods and yeah, I don't know, maybe I would be that lady in the woods because I'm here now, um, <laughs> very much alive, but, you know, yeah, this would be a cool place to be because there's so much history um, kind of in it. And let's see, I think that'd probably be it because I don't really have a cooler place to haunt um, or maybe travel and be like, oh, I'm in Puerto Rico because, you know, I, I liked it there and I feel really connected to the land, especially now that I've been, um, kind of felt my little roots and connections and whatever there. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Do you have any superstitions? <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows I have superstitions. Okay. Um, sometimes even on an OCD like level. Okay. But it's nothing like... I don't know. I'm not even going to get into any of them. Some of them are common. Like the whole mirror thing freaks me. If you break a mirror, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of some of those basic ones. Black cats don't bother me. 13 doesn't because I, my familiar, who I still love to this day, Thor, he was a black cat. So he was like my lucky sweetheart. But yeah, so some funky ones. But like I said, I'm not really going to get into those because I don't need people bugging me about it. All right. So 10. Um... If you could possess any fantasy magic, what would your power be? We'll just go with the mermaid. Because there's so many like stipulations and things. I would just be able to like be a mermaid, swim underwater, be in the ocean, maybe even swim in the lake, because I'm in the Adirondacks. <laughs> and um yeah, that would be pretty cool. Just any kind of like swimming for a long period of time so I could check out the waters and meet all the little creatures and maybe learn more about our oceans um 11 what is something random on your altar well let's see um i don't really have much of an altar-esque area anymore um especially since i have my little ones and they're very small two and four to be exact um are their ages and yeah so i don't really have much of an altar when i was younger um and i still kind of do this i have like dried roses you know um right now i have like some crystals in a space that i feel is like a calm like you know get ready sacred area um so that's what's kind of in that area so i got some like like i said my crystal mostly quartz um some incense you know my little dragon like tea candle holder a couple candles um a picture of my gram um 
you know especially since she recently has transitioned and let's see what else do we have um a picture of me and my mom actually too but that's in like my sacred comfort space and then like i have like kind of like this area where it's like shelves and then whatever well, I'll, maybe i'll show you i don't know some things are left to be mysterious okay so oh but you guys asked me something random not explaining what was on it um what's random on there i don't know <laughs> i guess i'll skip that one and maybe come back to it if it comes to mind or something but okay 12 if one of the youtubers you watch was a genie and they would grant you three wishes within their power who would it be and what wishes oh man i don't know um i have a couple youtubers that i've really grown to like of course at mint fairy she's cool um spooky brandy at spooky brandy check her out she's so fun she's a mom goth mom tag all the way um yeah i don't know i but i don't know what powers <laughs> in their power that they would like grant me i don't know i have no idea but um, I guess I'll name a third, like, YouTube -y, which YouTuber that I like. Um, hmm. Oh, I don't remember her name. Samantha Mendoza, I think it is. Um, those three are pretty cool, and I'm, you know, getting into more, but those are the ones that I've followed for quite some time. Okay, um, that was totally not the question, but whatever. Alright, 13. If you could instantly become an expert in any part of your craft or spirituality, what would it be? Being a fire sign, and I feel like I've accepted by my divine team, um, I would like to delve a little bit more into pyromancy and possibly like knowing more like fire magic based things. I work a lot with it now. And then also my altar element, I like to say, um, which is the Pisces part, and that would be uh, more water based. So that's kind of two, but anyways, um, that would be that. When you die, what do you think will happen to you slash your soul? Um, hmm, that's a really deep question. I don't know, I kind of believe a little bit in reincarnation. Um, I kind of also believe with things kind of, you know, I at one point considered and still to kind of consider, um, you know, being a funeral director. Um, it was a dream of mine since seventh grade. Maybe I'll get into that story, I don't know, but... Um, you know during those times i actually would you know think that you would have like kind of like a moments flashing so you get moments of like you know when you were young 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 and then everything up to it and see everything kind of all perspectives of things that went on in your life especially significant ones to that person like myself um so yeah, I don't know, I feel like that would happen, and then once you kind of got to go through your film of life, and it could take as long as you want, like, I feel like it would take, like, okay, maybe a couple, like, months technically to do this, but maybe if you fast forward and were like, I'm at peace, I'm cool with this, you know, you were very accepting of your life through and through, I think that you would be able to, like, I don't know, it's about to rain, but <laughs> I think you would be able to watch that, go through it, and then do whatever you believe so my belief is that you re get maybe reincarnated and you can choose how you want to do that whether it's becoming an animal maybe or i don't know like you get to kind of choose or you get to be um a spirit guide and become like a spirit guide for either somebody in your family or someone else i don't know so yeah and then it says the last question is where do you see yourself spiritually in five years um probably more grown um, as far as mature, maturity, um, like I already am, but like, I don't know, probably in the same place, probably in deeper understandings, probably lightening up a little bit more, like my mother always says to me, and, um, <laughs> I don't know, it'll be really cool, obviously being, you know, just a supportive person, so, well, that's all for my video vlog, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my witchy tag, aka get to know your witches vlog, um, it's been a real cool pleasure, and hopefully you like walking along and doing that tag with me. Till next time, you guys. Besos and bubbles. Peace.